First off, congratulations for a good win in the Patnak Farm Classic with Mental and uh, look to a treat. Yeah, it was a good result, Zach. Um, you know, a lot of obviously uh, you come down from Sydney in good order and a lot of people involved to get these horses over the line. So it was a good to um, good way to end the carnival and a great one. Now we go to Sandown and you've got Carrillo, a two-year-old colt, in race one over the thousand. Yeah, he's um, he's by Teofilo, which is a new um, first season stallion over here. So. Uh, He's a nice horse. Um, he trolled OK at, at Cranbourne a uh, fortnight ago, um, but um, he seems to have trained on since. We've trolled him again since he's come um, back from, from uh, Cranbourne, so um, he's well schooled. Just hopefully um, thousands not too short for him. And then you've got the stable mate Sidestep, also another two-year-old Colt and Side to exceed and excel. Yeah, he um, he's jumped out here at home and he went quite well, so obviously um, he shows a little bit of speed. Um, being by exceed, so uh, hopefully he can get a nice run in the race. It can be hard to beat. You've got Ma Me Dung in the Twilight Glow Stakes over 1400 metres, and last start she ran fourth. Yeah, over the 1200, second up 1400 probably suits her a little bit better. Um, so off a decent draw, I'm sure she's going to be hard to beat. And you've got the stable mate also joins in this race and uh, coins. What'd you make of his run, Lexus Hybrid? She drew one, um, and it's probably not the right barrier for her. She she needs a little bit of room and, and sort of being able to wind up into her races. So she was a little bit dictated to by other horses in and around her on the day. But hopefully, um, bit a bit more room on Saturday, and um, hopefully she can fi figure in the finish. Then you've got Raspberry comes into the Sandown Stakes over fifteen hundred metres. Yeah, she's just been a little bit unlucky. She's been hitting the front a little bit too soon in her races um, and dragging the winners into it. So um, good draw Saturday. I'm sure she's going to be around the money. Then you've got Tatra in the sporting bet, uh, Sandown Guineas. Yeah, he's, look, his uh, last run was super. Um, couldn't fold his run. He only just got beat. So as long as he takes that form into Saturday, he's going to be, um, he's going to be out of it. You've also got Proverb who joins alongside Tatra as well and narrowly came for third behind Tatra. He was she, he was like uh, Coins, drew one. It's not the right barrier for, for that horse. Needs to be out, room, working into the race to finish off and he's only got out inside the last furlong and he was strong on the line so he gets his chance on Saturday. And then your last run of Shannara and the Pine, the Pine Funeral Summon Stakes over 1,500 metres and last start was in the Maya Classic. Yeah, obviously a massive... Um, downgrade for what she raced against last start um, going back to this sort of company um, off a good draw hopefully she can posse up about three pairs back and, and she can be somewhere around the finish and what would you think your best of the day is for Sandown? probably the two in the um, in the guineas